My name is Jeff Van Note from Residential Home Funding, and I'm a residential and commercial mortgage lender. A residential and commercial mortgage are mortgages that are attached to real property or real estate in order to buy a home or refinance your current debt. If I had to say the most rewarding part of my job would be uh, the gratitude of closing someone's purchase or refinance and helping them save money or cash out their equity to make another investment. Uh, getting the deal done, seeing the process through start to finish, and seeing someone's reaction or you know, happiness and joy when they close on their first property is probably the most rewarding part of my, my career. Nothing really inspired me to get into the business. I kind of just fell into the business. Um, I applied the same hard work ethic and dedication and commitment from my college football career and sports into business. So when you take um, compassion, tenacity, teamwork, and combine those three things, it looks like you have the recipe for success. We've had plenty of exciting experiences, especially you know, living through 2008 in this business when the financial markets collapsed. I would say that meeting different walks of life and seeing every type of person that exists and seeing every type of person that wants to borrow money and own a home would probably be the most exciting part as you're able to help many different people in many different facets from the smaller deal of a $100,000 loan all the way up to a, you know, a $20, $30 million construction mortgage for a new condo development. More interesting experiences are uh, always with people who think they know more than us. So they try and pull a quick one over on us or they want to tell us something that doesn't exist or isn't true and they aren't really transparent. And then we tend to, you know, peel back the layers of what we think is truth and it turns out to be like a big lie. And then we have to figure out at that point in the road um, what the solution is to try and fix something that could have been done day one. Funniest story I probably could tell you is that my first closing, which happened in 2008 in the Bronx, my client, who was a barber, uh, showed up to the closing with a bag full, a brown bag full of cash. It was all 20s and 50s and 100s. I'm not sure if he was either a drug dealer, a barber, or you know all of the above, but we made him go to the bank and get a certified check to make sure that his funds were actually verified from the lending institution. I like to say I'm not meant for the mortgage business. Uh, I think that I don't fit the mold for what most mortgage people are. You know, I'm not boring, I'm not dry, I'm not very technical. I'm more so on a relationship level. I believe building business you know, comes with relationships. So rather than selling a rate or telling everyone how great I am, I go out there and really truly find people that need my services, need guidance, need hand-holding, and really need the true experience of more than just home ownership, but really a lifestyle. So I run my team like kind of run my house you know it's a lifestyle you have to be comfortable all the way around and you always have to do things you want to do you know so when you're interacting with clients you know you really want to show that mutually beneficial uh, aspect right so in order to have any relationship it has to be a tug of war and staying as close to the 50 percent each way line um, if a deal doesn't benefit one party uh, more than the other you really don't want to do that deal um, you know, so always somebody's gonna have you know sixty percent, forty percent, give or take. But you always want to make sure at the end of the day you try and wind up right back in the middle. So I say, as far as the relationship goes, you want to focus on trust, um, commitment, dedication, and really nurturing that relationship. Anybody can meet someone and get along once or twice. The key is you know learning how to deal with obstacles and hurdles and overcoming them together.